All right, let's add the next step to our snowfall simulation. When I click run here, the snowflakes start falling. The gravity pulls them down. The wind pulls them or pushes them sideways. And it keeps going forever. Right now, there's no user interaction. After you hit run, it's just a movie. So we want to add a little bit. And later, we're going to have sliders and buttons on screen where you can drag and press and change it as it goes. But first I want to start with something simpler, which is keyboard controls. We did this last quarter, and so it should be easy to do again. Let's say if I push left, the wind goes left. And if I push right, the wind goes right. Later we can, tr can control other things like the gravity, the amount of snowflakes, whatever. But the wind seems like a nice one, because it kind of feels like external thing, like we're pushing them around from outside. So the way we did it last time was to say key input equals, and that's not a keyword or anything, it's just the standard name that people use, because it's better than typing pygame.key.getpressed every time. And when you call this get pressed method, it gives you a dictionary with all the keys, true or false. So Q, true or false, W, true or false, E, true or false, etc. And so we look it up for the one we want. So we'll say pygame.k underscore left. And if that is true, that means that button is currently down. We don't know if it is going down in this moment or if it's been down for a while. It's just telling us, is that button down? So then we can say when minus equal, and I'm just going to go 0.1. Then the next line is going to be the same thing for right and plus instead of minus. And let's try that. I'm going to run. The wind is still on from before, so it's still randomly wiggling left and right a little bit. But this will be a lot stronger. If I hold it, you can see they're flying to the left. And if I hold right, well, it takes a while to turn them around, but eventually they do. And you can see the problem right away is that there's no maximum. So if I hold right, it just keeps increasing. And if it increases too much, well, it's on the edge one frame, and then it's off screen the next frame. So we never even see them moving, and it gets kind of ugly. So we should constrain this a little bit. And I want to say when equals constrain. And then I'll give it, you know, I think we tested this out earlier, and 6 and 6 was the good range. Of course, this is not a real function. We have to make it. So I'm going to say constrain. And it's a lambda because it's just a little baby function that's only going to take a line. So I'm going to say we give it the x, the thing we're looking at, and then I'm calling this L and R for left and right. We could say min and max, but min and max are already built in functions in Python, and I don't want to mess with the same name for our guys. So we could say L if x is less than L, meaning if you're trying to go too far to the left, well, you just hit this wall. Else R if x is greater than R. If you're trying to go too far to the right, well, you just hit the wall, and you're the max else x. So if we're between negative 6 and 6, we stay ourselves. But if we go past negative 6 to the left, well, we're just negative 6. And if we go past 6 to the right, well, we're just 6. So we can stay within that range. And now if I hold left, it's going to go pretty far left, or pretty fast left, but not too crazy. How did I know to put 6? Well, I don't. I just messed around with it yesterday, and that seemed like a good number. But it's not the only number. You could try 7, 8, 9, whatever. See what you think. Somewhere around there, though, is a good wind that's still visible. Like, I can still see these guys moving. Even if it might look choppy on the YouTube recording, it looks OK here. Now, if I held right, it would be the same thing. And it would take less time to turn around because the 
velocity didn't go so far in one direction that it has to travel so long to get to the other. And that's it for today. Your assignment is to make key controls and then our next step, which will be bigger, is adding some visuals. I want to have a little slider where you can drag and change a value and maybe a button. I think a button might be good for reset. We could just click to bring the wind and gravity and everything else back to a certain default. So that's it for that. Give it a try, see how it goes.